Well, this ship is named better than the Expanse. Hello YouTubers, this is Anubifire on the 1st of June 2022, CIG released the Q&A for the Legionnaire. It's linked for you in the description. This teeny ship was released on concept recently, incorporates boarding and hacking mechanics. If you want to take over or take back a ship, the Legionnaire is the right tool. It has a pilot station, a hacking station with remote turrets, jump seat, front mounted docking collar. Let me break down the Q&A. To attach and then breach the target does not have to be static, but being disabled would help as any attempt to dodge and weave would obviously upset the docking process. There was a second question about whether the target had its shields up if that would affect the boarding process. It wasn't actually answered, but as this is still early days, and we know that that'll be fleshed out before the mechanic is added. The intended mechanic is for it to be similar to the current ship-to-ship -ship docking, except that you can override the docking permission. If the target ship decides to jump with your tiny legionnaire attached to it, then both ships will jump at the same time. To perform a hack on the docking system, the attacking ship is going to need to remain quite close to the target ship, and the target will also be able to perform a counter hack as part of this gameplay. These hacking systems are limited to the docking system and are not intended to go deeper into the command and control or self-destruct or shields or propulsion. And this extra small ship will land in any hangar of that size. And they used a prospector and an arrow as examples. A long time ago, they talked about the ability for us to breach the hull anywhere. And this is only after procedural damage tech. But as of right now, they're only willing to commit to hard docking at docking ports. <laughs> The breaching sleeve extends and provides limited protection for the boarding team. It has absolutely no creature comforts beyond the jump seats and the bare basics. They're planning to allow for a fully kitted troop wearing heavy armor to fit in each drop seat, but if that is not possible, they will have storage aside for that kit. They have no plans to add stealth or any special protection for this ship. Hacking is baked into the ship, and the developer said that it may be possible to add that functionality to other ships as an upgrade. It'll fly and behave like a cutlass. Its extra armor pool will let it tank more shots than standard. The turret is operated by the crew that's in the hacking terminal. Automated hacking is not planned to be an option when blade mechanics are added, but a qualified NPC crew member can be tasked to hack. And unlike a Hawker Blue, there are no plans to add specialized cells to detain captured players or NPCs. That's it. A fun little ship that'll likely not get all of its game loops for quite some time, but we're all here for the long haul and many of you might like to add this little ship to their fleet. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.